O'Donoghue. Now it's Boss looking for the short pop pass inside to Andrew Trimble. Trimble to Bocha. Henry screaming for the offload. The Springbok just couldn't get his hands free. Quickly, and the dangerous pass, the intercept pass, and the straight run all the way for the New Zealander, Luala Lala. And Downey dots it for five points and possibly seven. And the invention of Ulster, their downfall, a simple intercept pass. You could see it coming out of the line, came the New Zealander, and a simple five pointer that surely will be seven. Well, a fellow Ulster man to Niall O'Connor would always tell him, you've got to look at the, the target before you release the ball from your hands. And uh, O'Connor had to have seen the blue jersey, and that was just a decision under pressure. He obviously pre-made the call to make that pass, and he, he had to have the ability to, to change. Foot, check out. Blue one, blue one. It's a great kick again. Improvised kick, and he's up quickly with a chase. It's going to be advantage Cardiff. Three on three on this side. Lualala to Xavier Rush, and then he steps on the gas. Xavier Rush, the Cardiff number eight, who will be at Ulster next season, had options out to his left. He just had a look and said, you know what, I don't need them, I'll go myself. He has a real turn of pace for a player of 32 years of age, but Ulster's defence ragged and in tatters and now they are well, well behind. And the damage wasn't done at this stage. The damage was done earlier on when, when uh, Isaac Boss failed to catch that ball, not by him, that error. It was Ulster simply didn't react quickly enough to the, the ch again, to the changed environment. The There's a little bit of lead-legged stuff. Still pushing them back. Very good, Ulster. Oh, yeah. No, he threw a big, big hole. He's only been on the pitch a matter of two minutes. And David Hewitt with a priceless try for Cardiff. For Cardiff and that could be the try that seals it for the Blues. Defended and defended in numbers, Ulster. They just couldn't repel the threat. I suppose it was the chain of three ultimately that was their undoing. Look at Robbie Dyke. See that hole? Creates a bit of a trouble there for um, BJ Bota and he can't readjust. You've got to keep your chain at three. You've got to stay on your inside channel and let nobody inside your shoulder. But it's no coincidence that the fresh legs was able to um, exploit the tired, tired legs of um, BJ Bota. <laughs> <laughs>